Hello and welcome to the Chalk Curriculum Tutorial on Unit Template Creation. This video will provide a step-by-step -step guide for how you can bring your curriculum to life by establishing a meaningful unit template and use it in the creation of your institution's curriculum maps. Here's a brief outline of what we'll be covering in this video. We'll start with a terminology overview to make sure we're all on the same page. We'll then walk through some of the best practices that we've established for creating your unit template within Chalk. From there, we'll take a look at the actual tools you'll be using to do this within Chalk, and then we'll go through a specific example following those best practices and leveraging what we've learned about the unit template editor in Chalk. The first term that we'd like to go over is a unit of instruction. Now, a curriculum map will consist of various units of instruction, each of which will have a suggested timeline, will be focused on one key area, and will contain various resources that support teaching that focus area. These resources can vary widely and can be customized entirely by you. Each of these resources can take the shape of identified skills to be learned, learning activities to help teach those skills, as well as a check for understanding, which might take the shape of an assessment, whether it's formative or summative, or any other methodology you might use to check for understanding. Now, the next term we wanna go over is a unit template. These unit templates will provide structure to each of your units of instruction. This will be consistent within a curriculum map, so it's quick and easy to find the resources you need in instructing that unit. Each of these unit templates will consist of various fields, and those fields will help you structure all those resources we were talking about earlier. And this is very much the piece that we want to make sure you have full control over when you're getting up and running within Chalk. Before we dive into those various fields and the things you can do with them, let's take a look at some of the best practices that we've established in creating your first unit template for your institution. It's important to note that this should be an iterative process. You wanna find a balance between having enough structure to guide the creation of your units, while also making sure it's not overly complicated and is easy for everyone to understand how they should be used. With that in mind, we highly recommend involving others in this process. Keep in mind who will be creating these units and the teachers who will be using them to create lesson plans. The first step is to create your unit within Chalk. For this, feel free to leverage the sample template we've provided, or you can use the flexible template creator to build your own. You'll then wanna create a new map with this template and start populating a unit with real content. We highly recommend that at this stage you involve others in the process. Not only will you want to create some content in the unit, but be sure to publish the curriculum map and work with it in Planboard to create a sample lesson. After going through these steps as a team, have a discussion on how this felt. This will make it much easier to decide what worked well and how you might want to adjust your template to better meet your curriculum writing and lesson planning needs. If you make any adjustments, go through the same steps again as many times as you need to. Before we show you how to use the template editor, we'll quickly show you where you can find this information from within Chalk for future reference. We're currently looking at the dashboard page of our Chalk account. From this page or from any page within our Chalk account, we can access the Help Center in the top right corner by clicking the question mark icon here. From the Help Center, we can access Curriculum Solution on the far right side. Once we're in the Curriculum Solution, we'll be looking for the Learning Guide for Curriculum Admins. Within here, we've laid out individual lessons that walk you through everything you'll need to know as a Curriculum Admin. To find the best practices we just reviewed, we'll want to access Lesson 3, Best Practices to Developing a Unit Template in Chalk. Now that we have an understanding of best practices, let's take a look at how to use the unit template editor in Chalk. Starting from the dashboard page of our Chalk account, we'll want to go to curriculum from this page here, or we can use the main navigation menu in the top left corner and select curriculum. From curriculum, we want to access templates from the left hand side. Please note that if you're not seeing this option, then you'll need the permissions adjusted on your account which can be done by an administrator within your institution or by reaching out to support at chalk.com. Once you've selected templates, you'll first see all the templates that currently exist, starting with the default that we've provided for you, as well as a helpful learning guide that will walk you through step-by-step -step what you can do from this page. 
Let's start by creating a new custom template by clicking the plus custom template button here. When creating a unit template within Chalk, you'll want to start by adding an appropriate title in the top left corner here. We've already included the date that this template was created on so that you have that information readily available. Right below this, you'll see there's a unit outline which tells you how many fields exist within this template, as well as a list of those fields below along with their title. If you'd like to reorder these fields, you have the option of clicking the three line icon on the left here and dragging up or down as appropriate to reorder your fields. You'll notice that by making changes here, right away those will be reflected in the center of your screen. Within a given template, there are two different fields that you can set up. The first one here is our standards field, and within our standards field, we'll be able to track all the standards that align to this unit. In addition to be able to change the title of this field so that will accurately reflect what you want shown, you also have the option to enable learning targets. The learning targets will add more flexibility for you and change the layout of your standards field as shown here. If you'd like to learn more about learning targets, we highly recommend that you go to our support center in the top right corner here and search for learning targets. It's important to note that within a given unit template, you'll only ever have one standards field. You can change the order to this field as well as the title for it, but you will never have more than one of these within your unit. The other type of field that you have to create are text box fields. Within a text box field, you have the option again of changing the title, and in addition to that, you can click in and actually add content to the field itself. Anything you type here will act as pre-populated content, which will then always show up whenever a new map is created using this template. For each of your text box fields, you'll have the option to add additional ones by either using the plus field button here, or when you hover over the field, you'll see there's a duplicate option on the right. You can also use the shown arrows to move the order of these fields. And the garbage can will let you remove that field from this current template. Once you've made all these changes to your template, you can publish it using the publish option in the top right corner. Once you've published your curriculum map template, you'll then be able to use it to create new maps. As outlined here, any updates to unit templates will not have any effect on existing curriculum maps only new curriculum maps will be able to use the updated template that you've created. To finalize these updates, click the Publish Template option, and you'll notice right away that you no longer have options to edit anything here. If you'd like to change an existing template, you can do so by clicking the Create Draft option that's available in the top right here. Again, any updates you make to this template will not have any effect on existing curriculum maps. It will only allow you to update this template so that future maps can use your newer version. Let's now take a step back using the back button in the top left corner here, and we can see which templates we currently have. You may notice that there's a default icon in the top right corner of the one we just published. This is set by using the gear icon in the top right corner, and we can select from the various templates we currently have to confirm which one should be the default for any new maps. There's also options here to change the global terminology that's used across your institution. Once you've made any changes here, you can click the Save icon to make these official. Now that we have a better understanding of how to use the Unit Template Editor within Chalk, we'll go through a specific example making sure to leverage the best practices that we talked about earlier. For this example, we'll be using a seventh grade math unit as our starting point. The first thing we wanna do is recreate this template within Chalk. In order to do so, we'll first review the template that we have here, starting with a standards field. We then have our essential questions as well as our prior knowledge and concepts and new skills. We then have a breakdown of the various learning goals and activities that can go along with these. And then finally, we have our assessments. Knowing what we want to recreate, we can now go to our unit template creator within Chalk and start recreating these fields. We'll start by adding a title in the top left corner here. And then we'll work through creating the fields we need. We know we want a standards field first, and we've named that standards already. And we'll disable our learning targets for now because we don't think we'll need that extra structure in there. We next have our first text field. 
For this, we'll use to create our essential questions. In addition to adding a title to our essential questions field here, we can actually click in and pre-populate it with content. For now, we'll use a table and add two columns. And this can be used to lay out the prior knowledge and concepts that we'd like, as well as the new skills that we'd like students to learn. We can go further and customize this as we see fit to make sure that it accurately reflects what we'd like our template to look like. Now that we've completed our first draft, we can see the various fields on the left and finalize any details before we click the Publish button. Once we publish, we can now use this template to create new maps. To learn the details of how to create a new map with the template, as well as how to use that map within PlanBoard to create lesson plans, we highly encourage you to review some of our tutorials which walk through this step by step. To access these tutorials, you use the menu in the top left corner, then select Tutorials, and you'll want to start with the Curriculum Author Training webinar here, which will walk you through how to create a map using your template. You'll then want to go through the adding a curriculum to plan board for teachers. Once you've completed these steps, you'll have a better understanding of how the template you just created can be used both when creating your maps, as well as when you're creating lessons with that content. We highly encourage you involve others in this process, getting insights not only from yourself, but from others on how these pieces will fit together will make it easier to understand what changes you want to make to your template. After having gone through these steps, you'll want to go back to curriculum from the menu in the top left corner, select templates, and from here, select your template to either make the changes that you want, or you can finalize it by updating the title on it and making sure that it's the default template for your institution. This brings us to the conclusion of our tutorial. We thank you for taking the time to watch this and hope you found this information helpful. If you're looking for additional support, here are some of the different channels that you can access. Thank you again for checking out the Chalk tutorial on creating unit templates for your institution.